Hey guys, welcome to our channel. I am Sujit Sharan. Today I am going to share with you about the PEBC document evaluation processes. So let's get started. PEBC evaluates certain documents to ensure that you have a pharmacy degree that is acceptable to the PEBC. And the minimum requirement for writing the examination is the four year undergraduate degree that is BPharm. And once your uh, documents are favorably evaluated by the PEBC, you must then take the pharmacist evaluating examination. The very first step of pharmacist document evaluation is enroll in the pharmacist gateway Canada and receive a national identifier number. And the second step is apply online for document evaluation and pay the fees. The third step is certify and print the online application form and send to the PEBC along with your primary identification certificate and your university degree certificate and all the copies must be certified by the accepted witnesses. Fourth step is submitting the university's transcript and uh, the licensing statement from the pharmacy council and we should be directly sent to the PEBC via mail or email. The documents to submit for document evaluation. First one is document evaluation printed application form with full fee, documents to support identity that is a valid passport, birth certificate, marriage certificate or change of name certificate, statutory declaration and supporting documents. Fourth one is documents to support graduation and licensing that is university degree certificate, transcript and licensing statement. First one is document evaluation printed application form. Once you enroll in the Canadian Pharmacist Gateway, you will get a national identifier number and with that number, you can um, go to the PEBC website and you can just create an account in the PEBC website also by giving your username and password and PEBC will contact you by this email. Okay, so make sure that uh, you are not mixing the other mails uh, with this PEBC mail, it's always better to create a fresh email, especially for PEBC. Okay, so once you create an account in the PEBC and you can now apply online for the document evaluation. And this is how a document evaluation form looks like. You can enter the personal information here, academic record, licensing record and pay the fees and print the application. So here in the left corner, you can staple one passport photo with date taken written on the back of the photo and you can stamp and glue one photo below here also. So and once you got the printed application form and you staple and stamped all the photos, you can now go to the witness office and uh, uh, sign the application declaration and seal or sign of the witness on the application. So once you completed all these steps, you can now send your PBC application form along with your certified copy of the university degree certificate and your primary identification with uh, the PBC application form and send directly to the PBC via mail and the mail address is provided in the PBC application form. The Canadian dollar 675 is the current fees for PBC document evaluation. You can um, pay the fees with your credit card that is visa or mastercard the fees are non-refundable once your document evaluation are completed and you can even use offline payment options if you have money on your pbc account and if you are not able to pay the fees online with your credit card if you are paying offline there are certain requirements also the very first one is the international money order or backdraft is only accepted the which is drawn from a canadian bank Transit number of the bank printed at, at the bottom of the bank draft or money order. So these are the requirements outside of Canada if you are applying for offline payment. For identification, the certified copy of a valid passport and a birth certificate is acceptable. And if your name has changed, for example, after your marriage, if your name has changed and you require to submit the statutory declaration that uh, your name has changed and uh, must provide the supporting documents like your marriage certificate or your change of name certificate. So acceptable individuals to certify documents are notary public, commissioner of oath, lawyer, embassy or consulate official. Documents to support graduation and licensing. The very first one is the university degree certificate. It should be certified by the notary or any other acceptable witnesses. 
the university transcript should be sent directly to the PUBC via email, mail or even courier. The issue date of your transcript should be within the one month of the date PUBC receive it. So if you have any other degrees related to pharmacy that is uh, if you are if you have D farm, M farm, PhD or uh, B -farm, after B farm, farm D post baccalaureate degree also you can uh, send those degree transcript also uh, to the PEBC by the institution which you have done that course and so which is very important suppose if your degree has not been approved by the PEBC they will ask you to submit a syllabus so uh, the syllabus can be submitted to the PEBC by uh, upon the request only so initially there is no need to uh, submit the syllabus along with the transcript the licensing statement should be sent directly to the PEBC via courier, email or uh, regular mail and uh, the licensing statement is valid only for 6 months. Suppose if your document evaluation has not been completed in the 6 months, you have to submit again the licensing statement to the PEBC and the, uh, the date of the PEBC receiving uh, the licensing statement should be within one month of the date of issuing suppose if you are not licensed in your home country or not even practicing in your home country you can uh, send a letter to, to the PEBC stating the reason and the reason stating a letter or document should be attested by any of the acceptable witnesses so these are the mail and email address of the PEBC suppose if your transcript and the licensing statement um, uh, has not been directly sent to the PEBC by your university or the pharmacy council you can courier pick uh, up the uh, document and uh, deliver it to PEBC but the address of the sender must be of the university or the pharmacy council and PEBC do not accept email application forms but you can email your transcript and uh, your licensing statement to PEBC so once PEBC receive your application and fee, it will take up to 6 weeks for an acknowledgement email to send to you and uh, once your uh, document evaluation will complete, the PEBC will send you a mail stating the results of your document evaluation and the document evaluation results are valid for 5 years. Suppose if you have any attempt left, you can then apply for document re-evaluation and if you are an applicant under expressionary or federal skilled worker category there is a request form in the PEBC website and you must complete the request form uh, for an easier report after the document evaluation process the PEBC will generate that easier report and you can that uh, submit uh, that document for the further immigration processes and if you already passed the document evaluation and you still need an easier report you can email uh, the request letter along with the application fees. That's guys about the document evaluation process. So in short, I will tell you, uh, first you have to create an account in the Pharmacist Gateway Canada. They will send you a national identifier number. And once you got that number, you can go to the PEBC website and create an account there. And you can apply for online document evaluation. And once you complete the online application and uh, submit the fees, you can print out that application and uh, certify uh, those documents and you can send to the PEBC along with the supporting identity and uh, supporting degree documents. And all the documents should be certified by any of the acceptable witnesses. At the same time, you can apply for uh, the university transcript and the licensing statement from the pharmacy council. That should be directly sent to the PEBC via mail, email or courier. So that's all about the document evaluation process. I hope you guys find this video useful. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any further doubts also. And share with your friends as well. And yeah, see you soon next time. Take care, be safe and bye-bye.